Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Mindy. Welcome to my show, Data Driven Picks, where I give you the best of the best. MLB, baseball. Here we go. 15 more today for Sunday. Hopefully you enjoy. Last day. <laughs> Almost last day. You got that crazy doubleheader on Monday to see who comes out ahead. All right. Hopefully you guys are ready. Let's do it. Boom. Oh. All right, we got the Rays and the Red Sox at Fenway, one of my favorite places. Uh, Pepe on the mound, 3.8 over his last five, 3.64 this season versus Priester. He doesn't have those three starts that I like, so we're going to go ahead and do this one as if it were a bullpen game. But that doesn't matter too much to us because Rays offense right now, totally been sucking. Minus 1.5 runs less per game than their season long average. Rays batting average right now is down 3.6% over the last five. Rays offense all the way down 13.7% lower than the league average for run scored batting average. And on base percentage, that offensive impact, they're hitting a whopping 194. Uh, and the Red Sox, they're hitting 3.7% better than the Rays right now. And when it comes to slugging, 10.2% better. Let's go ahead and take, uh, well, we have this a three to three statistical tie. So we're going to take the run line here with the Red Sox. It comes in at 71.2%. Who wouldn't want 72.1 or whatever that says. All right, next. Pirates and Yankees. No one is caring about this game as of uh, late. What, Judge struck out like five times or something? Uh, faults are on the mound for the Pirates, 4.33 ERA over his last five, 4.26 this season versus Schmidt. He's been doing pretty well. 2.61 ERA over his last five, 2.55. Pirates offense, they're down 4.785, lower than their season long average. Still, I mean, they put up a seven, but still uh, trying to, uh, you know, look at their averages, only averaging 2.67 over the last five. It's going to help it stay under this total. No one cares about this game. Pirates offense, 11.8% lower than the league average for run scored, batting average, and slugging. Pirates still only hitting 190. That's right. We're going under the total. We have it coming in at seven with the Yankees pulling off that minus 200 victory. Uh, the VIP, uh, the very important person play. Hey, we got this one yesterday. We had the Angels. So let's go ahead and get you over to Tony's Picks right now. That's where you pick it up at. Uh, this VIP, it's my very best statistical play, comes in at 87.4% of the time. We've been crushing it. So make sure you get there. You can get it as that best bet, right? Only $19. Also use the promo code Tony T at checkout. Let's do it. Cardinals versus the Giants. That's right. What are we going to do here, you guys? McGreevy, 3.38 over his last five. A little bit up from the 2.4 versus Birdsong. He's been kind of elevated all season, kind of leveled out here lately. 4.84 over his last five, 4.66 this season. It's still the thing. The Giants offense failing to show up. They're only able to muster three. Still have them only averaging three in this game. We're also going under the total because no one cares on the last day of the season. That's right. <laughs> We're going under the total. It's going to be a total, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Bad day? But everyone plays it too, or central time. So at least it all gets over all at once. All right, here we go. Rangers and Angels. Eovaldi, 4.7 ERA over his last five, 3.96 this season versus Kokonowitz. He's been doing well. 2.27 over his last five, 4.01 here this season. Angels offense, they're averaging 1.75 runs less per game than their season-long average. Still always capitalize, not capitalizing on opportunities, but did have a huge day yesterday. Uh, Angels, uh, right now their offense is 14.5% lower. <laughs> their offensive impact, 14% lower. Even with huge numbers that they put up yesterday, they're only still hitting 216. We're going under the total again. That's right. No one cares on the last day. Under. Let's do it. All right. The Marlins and the Blue Jays. Weathers on the mound. He's been super elevated. 5.79 over his last five. 3.81 this season versus Yarbrough, 1.98. He's getting it done. Look at that, 3.32 ERA this season. Marlins starting pitcher, he's been not getting it done, putting up huge numbers, and this Blue Jays bullpen suddenly 
they're giving up huge numbers, 4.9 runs over their last five. That's not so good. Uh, Marlins offense up a little bit, 4.5%, keeping the Twins out of the playoffs. Uh, Marlins offense, 10.2% higher than the league average right now. Run scored, batting average, slugging. So let's go ahead and go over the total. Coming in at nine. Let's do it. 50.6%. All right. Houston Astros versus Cleveland Guardians. We have Gusto on the mound. I don't have him with any three starts that I like to see. Your five starts versus Sandlin. So it's going to be a bullpen game there for Houston. 3.86 over his last five. 3.75 this season. Astros offense, they are actually hitting 2.7% lower than their season long average over the last three. So we're definitely going to go ahead and go with this minus 190 with the Cleveland Guardians. We have them winning four to three. Comes in at 69.7. We're doing it. We'll take it. Padres, Diamondbacks, Perez, 2.49 in the last five, 4.25 this season versus Brandon Fat, 8.31. Super elevated. Not been good as of late. 4.8 ERA this season. Like to see those Padres in the playoffs. It's nice. Padres bullpen, 1.925 lower than the Diamondbacks over the last five. And the Diamondbacks are suddenly scoring a lot less per game than what they have been. The 666 number. Oh, no. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the Padres here on the money line. We're going to take plus money. Look at that. We can even go ahead and take plus plus money if we'd like. Plus one and a half. Minus one and a half, I meant. Let's do it. Let's take them on the money line. 66.6 six plus money. Oh, goodness. It's the White Sox and the Tigers, the Tigres. I'm glad to see that they are also in the playoffs. I do not want them to play the Royals uh, the first game out. Uh, but we got Cannon, 3.77 ERA over the last five, 4.37 this season versus Maeda, 3.38 over his last five. That's under that 5.93 this season. Tigers offense. Uh, they're only a slugging a 481 because they don't care because they're in. White Sox offense, um, I don't know. Should we even say they're 19.6% lower than their season-long average? Oh, my goodness. We're going to take them. Oh, boy. We're going with the White Sox here. We're going to take them on the run line plus one and a half. It comes in at 60%. Have this one a four to four statistical tie. All right. Mets. Brewers, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna pick the Brewers for my for my my best pick for winning the whole thing. I'm just gonna say that secretly. All right, the Mets, Mr. Peterson, 3.77 ERA over his last five, 3.08 this season versus Ray, who I thought was pitching yesterday, which did not. He's elevated though, 8.1 ERA over his last five, 4.17 this season. Brewers offense, 5.16 slugging. Mets offense. 10.2% higher than the Brewers. We're going to go ahead and take the Mets on the money line. Have them winning five to four. Lots, oh, lots of runs. Orioles and Twins. Uh, Suarez, 5.96 elevated from his 3.74 versus Bailey Ober. Man, he's been dealing this season. 3.41 over his last five. 3.94 this season. Twins, ERA, starting pitching. About 2.55 runs better than the Orioles right now. We'll be sticking with the Minnesota Twins. Maybe they can get out of there. What is it, like two for eight in their last 10 funk? Uh, have them winning five to four. Comes in at 59.8. A's offense is uh, struggling. Uh, struggling mightily. <laughs> and they got Spence on the mound. 3.46 over his last five. 4.35 this season. And then we have Gilbert. He's been elevated uh, pretty much all season. Uh, 4.6 over his last five. 3.33 this season. Oh, goodness. But the athletics uh, failing to show up. Uh, putting up some goose eggs out there. Like putting up some zeros. And then losing it in extra innings on some uh, questionable management styles. Uh, uh, you know, not putting the bases loaded and letting, I don't know. Why are you doing that? Uh, but the athletics offense right now, 14% lower than the league average. Runs scored, all that kind of good stuff. And look at the Mariners' offense. When they hit 204, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, goodness, I tell you. We also have this uh, T-Mobile Park impact. It's underwater by 5% today, and that's that whole, you know, wind, forecast, dimensions, blah, blah, blah. It's going to keep it under. And the Mariners, they're under all season, and A's are not doing anything. 
no one cares because everyone's out of the playoffs. We're going under. Seattle, first team out again because they lose too many close ones. All right. The Dodgers and the Rockies. Nick Nick, 5.82. That's elevated from his 3.74. Feltner, 3.41. That's under his 4.66. Dodgers offense is sizzling hot, averaging 6.67. Oh, goodness. What are we going to do here? Dodgers are coming off some big, big runs and capitalizing here on opportunities. Dodgers, I know they're only hitting 203, but they get it done uh, right now. Uh, oh, yeah. I should say the Dodgers offense is getting it done. 20.3% higher than their league average for a run scored batting average and slugging. They're hitting 302. They're slugging 899. We're going to take the minus one and a half. I know it doesn't really show that. Everything's a little wonky because... Uh, the line services are not to deciding on putting lines out until, I don't know, I guess way early in the morning or right before game time, whichever. But we will be laying the minus one and a half here with the Dodgers. Here we go. Well, the Royals and Braves. Best game on the board. Psych. Reagan's 2.4 ERA over his last five, 3.14 this season. <clears throat> Morton, 3.38 over his last five, 4.08 this season. We're going to just go ahead and go over the total. I know it looks weird. I know, I know, I know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and go over the total. Uh, these are rounding numbers. Plus, we don't have those lines in there. But more than likely, we're sitting at, what, an eight, eight and a half. I know it only shows six, but it's rounding. I promise you, take the over. All right. Reds and Cubs at Wrigley. Closing it out. Closing it out. Hunter Green on the mound, stellar, 3.0 ERA over his last five, 2.83 this season versus, I don't know, Killian. He's elevated at 7.94. Uh, that's not so good. That's not so good. I'm going to go ahead and lay it here with Hunter Green. Have them winning 5-4. to four. We're taking the minus 120 on the money line. My modeling variance versus minus 120 Vegas opening odds. It hits at 64.1%. All right. Hopefully you guys had a great football a Saturday. Make sure you like and subscribe. Click on the bell to get the latest notifications. Also, I guess I'm going on the morning show with Tony. So you guys, if you can't get enough of me, you can go ahead and find me there live. We'll go over some of this stuff here tomorrow. All right. Or today. Yeah, it's early. Whichever day. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.